The 26th Ward is one of the most diverse communities in Chicago. Rich in history, culture, and community, Aldermanic candidate Teresa Sia wants to continue to honor its traditions while also taking on the challenges we face. Alba Santiago believes Teresa is the right person for the job. I think that Teresa can do a big change in Humboldt Park because of the person who she is. She always, she never thinks about Teresa. She's thinking about what the next thing needs to get done or of the community. Santiago has known Teresa for nearly a decade. She came into the medical supplies where I was working and she asked me how would I like to come and work for her. And I was like, okay, like, um, and I was like, this doesn't usually happen. So I was like, okay, um, I need to make sure that I'm gonna be okay because I have kids and I have bills to pay. She was like, you have nothing to worry about. You're gonna be fine. Santiago has been the Omni Medical Student Training Coordinator ever since. She didn't have to give me a chance um, and she did. Teresa also hired Ada Aviles, who is one of the patient coordinators. She has worked for Omni Healthcare for eight years. Ada has experienced the best and worst of our community, including losing a loved one to gain violence. I have been impacted by it. I lost a, a son, I want to say, 15 years ago. Right now, our neighborhood is crying for some changes. We are sick and tired of the same old, same old. It's not getting us anywhere. Avilas feels the community needs Teresa more than ever before. They do need someone like her. She has a big heart. You know, and um, she does it all out of love. And she's very giving and very compassionate, and her heart is totally in it. Teresa Sia has been a community activist working for everyone in our neighborhood. Her experience in healthcare and business have provided her the tools necessary to serve our ward. Dr. Mizuno of Omni Healthcare shares why Teresa gets things done. But not taking no for an answer and you know, she often finds a way when other people don't. How does she help a patient in need? Those very emotional traits and character qualities would, would make anyone a great community leader, but she has them. I mean, so whether she's doing it individually to a patient, well before she had any sort of political aspirations, so those are the very things that would make anybody a great community leader. Teresa was inspired to start giving back at a young age due to her own circumstances, hardships, and losses. It was a moment where me and my sister were washing our clothes, that we didn't even have enough money to wash our clothes at the laundromat. And this guy, a gentleman, it was an African-American guy that gave us a whole bag of quarters. He, he didn't know us or anything. He just saw us and he just said that, you know what, I feel like you guys need this more than I do. And that's when it was, you know, ever since then, like, how can he know? Is this, was this person God sent just to us for this right moment at this right time? Teresa is a community leader. She understands what we need in the 26th Ward, which is a quality education for our children, access to affordable health care, working with the community and the police to keep our streets safe, and working to increase affordable housing options. That's another reason why I want to run for Alderman, is I want to be the voice for the voiceless and also be there when, and represent the people of our community in City Hall. Teresa will work for all of us. To learn more about Teresa Sia, head to www.teresasia.com.